Welcome to today's design and technology lesson. We're going to make this mechanism today. What are you going to need for today's lesson? Some tape. It can be any tape. Electrical tape, masking tape, cello tape. Some scissors. A ruler or a straight edge. Four sheets of A4 paper. It doesn't matter if it's lined or plain. Two pencils. If you don't have them, two pens will do. Some string. And that's it. The first thing you have to do is draw around your hand. Now you can mark on your knuckles with a dotted line. And then we're going to cut it out. The next thing we're going to do is make some paper straws. So we're going to need some masking tape or cello tape. It doesn't matter what you use. We're just going to place the tape along the top edge of the paper. And then from the bottom, we take a pencil and we very carefully and tightly roll up a paper straw, like so. And it doesn't pop out, you can use another pencil to pop it out. And then we have a perfect paper straw. You're going to need three or four of these paper straws depending on the size of your hand. Okay, so next up, I'm going to take a bit of string, place it on the middle finger, take it the length of the arm, and then I'm gonna add on about another finger's length and just cut that. I need five pieces of string around this length. They don't have to be equal. We just need five pieces of string. Our next stage is using a straight edge. You can use a ruler or a credit card, anything you would like to bend the fingers along your dotted lines. Next up, we're gonna cut our straws to the correct size. Now this straw has no tape at the end, so I'm just gonna cut that little bit off. It's really important that we have tape end to end for this part. So I've got my straw and I'm gonna cut it up into sections now. It's really important that each section is about half the size of the portion of your finger that it's going on to. So I'm gonna put one, two, three bits of straw there now. I want to do this for all of the fingers. Some of your little straws might have flattened when you cut them. Just squeeze them on their flat edge and they'll come nice and round again. I'm gonna put these aside for now and I'm gonna take my pieces of string. Now what I want to do is take a little bit of tape, take my straw and I'm going to wrap my string around the straw and then tape over the top of it. So there's my straw firmly attached to the string. Depending on how long your strip is, you may be able to cut it in half. That's about the length we're looking for. Now I'm gonna take my straw, the little bits that we cut, and I'm gonna place my tape through the straw. Okay. Once you've got it through the straw, just press down so that it sticks to the straw. And then we're going to place these. So this one is going to go right in between my two dotted lines. I'm actually going to move it to the middle section, that would be a lot easier. And then I'm just going to keep doing this, making sure that each time my little straw is in the centre between the dotted lines. If your tape's too long and I've hit your other one, you can cut it off. Next up, we have to put our straws into place. We've cut our little thin strips. We feed our thin strips through the straw. Sometimes, depending on the thickness of your strip, you may need to curve the top edge just to guide it through better. Let's stick it to my hands. There we are. So we've got that through. 
and push it down tight. And the bit that I squished at the top, I can just cut off with my scissors. Now what we're going to do is we're going to... Now that we've got all our straws in place, we want to make sure that you've firmly pressed down and that nothing's going to come loose. Okay, once you're happy that they're firmly in place, we're going to take one of our other straws and what we're going to do is guide it down towards the wrist. So I'm going to take that measurement and I'm going to cut my straw just here. Okay, before I go any further, I'm going to stick it down. I continue this for our next three fingers. Now we've got all our straws in place for the fingers. Last thing we have to do is put our string in place. It's a bit tricky, but we just have to feed our string through each of these sections. And remember, keep a nice tidy workspace. Makes things a lot easier. And then I've just got this last section to feed the string through now. To secure the tips on, I'm going to cut a bit of tape in half. I'm going to take sections about 5cm long and I'm just going to tape down the tips in place. Okay, now we should be able to test our fingers. If I pull this string, my finger bends. So you might notice that whenever I pull the strings together, my wrist bends. I could put another joint in here using a similar mechanism, but I'm going to strengthen this so that only the fingers grip. I'm going to strengthen it in two ways. I've got some wooden skewers at home. I'm going to use these to reinforce this piece of material. So I'm going to get a rough length and just cut them using my scissors and then I'll tape them in place. The next thing I'm going to do is put a tube in here so that I can guide all of the strings together. So I want it about three or four centimeters long. Again, I don't have to be too precise. I'm going to cut my tube, get some tape, and then I'll tape it in place. Now if you don't have any wooden skewers at home, you can just cut another bit of cardboard to go along in that direction. What I would do is I would look at the direction of the lines in the cardboard. Because it's corrugated, it wants to fold in the direction that the lines are going. So if we go lengthways, you can see that it doesn't bend and leave that crease. So I would just cut a strip of cardboard and stick it along there instead. Now we just need to feed our strings through this little tube that we've made. Okay, so that's our fingers finished. Next up, we're going to play with our thumb. The thumb is quite similar to the fingers, so I'm going to go back to that stage where we fed the masking tape or any tape through the tube, and I'm going to put it between my dotted lines. Okay, firmly press it down, and then I've got my bit of string attached to my tube at the top. I'm just going to wrap that around and stick it to the top, just as you did for the fingers. Now that's in place, I'm going to feed my string through this tube. And now this is where it's different to the fingers. Take your pencil and again take your masking tape. And what I want you to do is very carefully, just below your knuckle mark, post poke a hole through the cardboard. Now remember, do it on top of your tape so that you don't damage your desk and then feed 
the string through there. And now hopefully if I pull that, my thumb also moves. Okay, we're not going to run that tube on this side. We're going to run it along the top here. Okay, so I'm going to feed the string through this time before I stick it down. And then we're going to place the tube just on this side. Okay, so now I pull that. 